if I told you that sometimes the most simplest ideas are the most powerful, would you believe me? This is a story of how a casual internet rant turned into one of our cleanest and most consistent swing trading strategies called trending outliers. And yes, it all started with these guys. About four to five years ago, we were getting this crazy inbound for a cleaner algo trading strategy that only spots breakouts. Back then, we used to make intraday algo trading strategies that used to trade about five to ten times a day. And people just wanted something that is much more straightforward, much more cleaner. And so the hunt began. We were building for edge cases anymore. We were building for clarity. For outliers that scream. All right, what if what if we just look at nifty 500 stocks that are doing breakout, no over trading, just monthly rebalancing. Okay, but that's going to give us like a big list, man. Too many signals. What's the filter? Let us look at the confirmation in volume. We will look at only breakouts that will be confirmed by volume. Let's do simple 10 day moving average divided by 30 day moving average. If it's greater than one, we would confirm the breakout. Okay, so each month we look at stocks that are giving a breakout. And then we look at 10 of such stocks. But we don't want to go blindly all in on these 10 stocks. Because here's the thing, even if these 10 stocks are giving you these breakouts, what if all of them are in the same sector? Let's say IT. If the whole sector goes down, your portfolio is going to give a big loss. Yeah, yeah, if the market sneezes, <coughs> They all catch a cold. So how do you avoid putting all your eggs in one thematic basket or in one sector? That's when the quant guy brought in the big guns, hierarchical risk parity or HRP. Imagine grouping stocks like friend groups. Friends that hang out together are grouped into the same branches of a tree. And this becomes your HRP. HRP maps these relationships into a tree. Stocks that are part of the same sector or are highly correlated or part of the same narrative show up in the same branches of the tree. Then it starts allocating the capital from the outermost branch to the innermost branch, ensuring that no friend group dominates the portfolio so if it has allocated capital over here it will skip this branch of the tree then it will go and allocate capital here then here and thus we ensure that no correlated stocks become part of your portfolio that way even if one sector goes haywire say banking or it the entire portfolio is not dragged down with it. Oh, so now I understand. It's like position sizing with emotional intelligence. It doesn't just ask how risky is the stock. It also asks, is this stock similar to others that I've already picked? Correct? Yes. So after applying HRP, we are left with six most promising stocks. Not the loudest ones, but the most trustworthy ones. And that is how we ended up building the strategy. And then we tested it. In fact, we just didn't test it. We made it live. For the past four years, this strategy has been live till date. It has given a CAGR of 26%, whereas Nifty has given a CAGR of 14 to 15%. That's a clear 11% win. Steady gains, minimal churn, no drama. If you want to try out this strategy yourself, there's a QR code that is flashing on your screen right now. You can scan it or you can just click the link in the description. We have got a few more strategy stories like this coming up. If you want to hear them, do subscribe to the channel and join the tribe.